Hey, Salt and Light Media. I'm Susan Hukong Taylor. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and welcome to Hymns at Home. This is a space online where we take some time to sing hymns of praise and thanks to God. And I'm very grateful to Salt and Light Media for inviting me to be a part of this, and I'm very, very happy to be leading this episode. So I'd just like to begin with a prayer, if I may. So we'll begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, thank you for your indwelling in our hearts. Thank you for this opportunity to glorify you through song. I pray for all of the people watching today, and for all of the people that they hold in their hearts, for all of their intentions. And I pray that this time of turning our eyes to you, singing to you, of praying to you together, I pray that our burdens would be lifted. I pray that our hearts and our thoughts would rise to you like incense to heaven. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless us. We ask Mother Mary to wrap her mantle around us as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I'm going to sing a song for you now that is called It Is Well With My Soul. And it's a traditional hymn, and it is something that uh, I came to know more deeply through a dear friend of mine, Jenna Martin. And uh, I'm going to be doing kind of an adaptation of her arrangement of this song. So I hope you enjoy. Please sing if you can, okay? Here we go. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. should buffet, though trial should come, let this blessed assurance control, that Christ has regarded my helpless estate, and has shed his own blood. glorious thought 
my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord oh my soul it is well with my soul I always marvel at the the text of these songs and how rich they are and how beautifully they convey the story of our salvation. Just absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'm going to sing a song for you now. It's called Small Things with Great Love. And the, and the story behind that song is that um, I was actually asked to write uh, this song by a dear friend of mine. Anna DaCosta, uh, she asked me to write a song about Mother Teresa. And um, we had a friend at the time who was very, very, very sick uh, with cancer and, and uh, with a great devotion to Mother Teresa. And she said, you know, maybe if you write something, maybe you could write something to share with him. And so um, I sat with it and, uh, and this song came. So I'm very, very grateful for it. It's called small things with great love so let me just get in this this up here um, and anna actually recorded this song on her cd called the deep in you
Mother Teresa It's a seed for me Help me love my Jesus Help me see what you see How Jesus is hidden In his frightening disguise Help me to embrace him In his body crucified One can do no great things Only small things with great love Only small things with great love Only small things with great love La 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 Well, for all of you who are just joining us and tuning in right now, welcome to Hymns at Home. And my name is Susan Hukong Taylor, and I'm very, very happy to be leading you here through these, through this little journey of song from Toronto. And uh, so I'm going to continue on. And, and I wanted to share a song with you that is very near and dear to my heart. And it's written by John Michael Talbot, who is kind of the bedrock for contemporary Christian music. He is, um, he is the pioneer and uh, an incredible, incredible, gifted, blessed, anointed songwriter. The song is called Healer of My Soul and I, I thought of the song just because of the, uh, the, I think the weariness that we're all feeling, you know, at this time. And, and uh, we're, it's a, it's a very different and strange time that we're living through. But this idea of coming to the Lord at the evening and saying, heal me at morning, heal me at noon, healer of my soul. It's just a complete balm for my soul. So I hope that you'll find that too. So healer of my soul. <laughs> Healer of my soul 
hello. Once again, all you beautiful people out there, maybe there's some of you who are just tuning in, and my name is Susan Hukong Taylor, and, and we're doing hymns at home. And uh, so that was called Healer of My Soul, and now I'm gonna sing a song, another really special song to me, uh, called Great Is Thy Faithfulness, and uh, I love the I love what the chorus says. Morning by morning, new mercies I see, and all I have needed, Thy hand hath provided. Great is Thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. And I think that for me, in particular, at a time when when things were very very hard, um, the truth of this song pierced my heart, and it's like yes, no matter how tough, all I have needed. God's hand has provided. So, um, let's sing this for you. Great is thy faithfulness.
No, amen. Um, <laughs> I have a, a really uh, deep love for Our Lady, and uh, I am a, sometimes a wandering child, but I know she's always she's always walking with me, and um, and I was gifted a song by her. Uh, a setting for the Ave Maria, and I'd like to share that with you now. Ave Maria, and here we are at Hymns at Home on Salt and Light Media. So this is Ave Maria, and this is something that I wrote a number of years ago, and I recorded it on my Fiat CD, um, and uh, which is a, a CD that uh, is really me in conversation with Our Lady and uh, walking with her through the story of Jesus' life. So. Ave Maria.
we're just about at the end of our time together here at Hymns at Home on Salt and Light Media. My name is Susan Hukong Taylor. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, I have one more song for you, and, and the story behind this song is it's a very interesting one. Um, and actually, it's kind of like the beginning of my relationship with Salt and Light uh, because it, it, it was another song that came with a question. And the question was actually from Pedro Guevara Man. Do you know any songs about the cross? <laughs> we need a song. We need a song for this particular celebration. And um, I'm like, well, I only know one. I only know Lift High the Cross. And he's like, no, we need something a little bit different. And I, and I said, huh? I said, I said, leave it with me. Let me think about it. And I phoned up my dear, dear friend, Anna DeCoster, and I said, you know, this is the question, you know, do we know, do you have any lyric about the cross? Have you written any songs about the cross? And Anna shared this amazing lyric with me, love lifted on the cross for me. And I thought, wow, okay, um, let's, let's sit with this. Let's see what happens. And we came to this beautiful celebration at Nathan Phillips Square with our very, our loaves and fishes, a, a verse and a chorus of this song, Song of the Cross, that we wrote together, started writing it on the phone, got together a few more times, and this little offering um, became an anthem for that World Youth Day. And, and it's something that I know is sung often at World Youth Days uh, since that time, which has been almost 20 years now. And uh, so I'm going to share that with you now. Love lifted on a cross for me. It's Song of the Cross. And uh, here we go. Please sing along with me if you know it, okay? Love lifted 
plan. Well, it's uh, just about time for me to go. But I wanted to just end with a little prayer and uh, to say thank you so much, okay? So thanks be to God. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, thank you so much for this moment, this time to be spending in, in rest, to be spending in your heart, to be spending in your glory. Thank you for this great gift. Thank you for the wonderful people that have taken time to pause and to, to rest in you. I pray that as, the, as we move our separate ways that we would be blessed I pray that each one of us, Lord, will come to know you in a deeper and more full way through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It has been absolutely wonderful. My name is Susan Hukong Taylor, and I'm coming to you from Toronto, Canada. And uh, the next Hymns at Home session will be in two weeks, so please do stay tuned for that. And you can follow salt and light media on facebook and that way you can be updated on all their projects and you can also follow me too on facebook susan hukong taylor or you can look for me on twitter i'm at susan hkt thank you very very much for your support you are an important part of salt and light media so you are a part important part of their mission of hope so if you'd like you can click on the comments and you can donate to this vital ministry so every contribution that you make makes a difference. Thank you so much. Take care until we see each other. Okay. God bless you. Bye-bye.